Hey guys, I feel like it's been a really long time since I've sat down and filmed for you all, probably because it has been and all of my posts for September were cued, so I feel like this is the first time I'm actually getting to talk to you guys in a while. Um, yeah, I'm going to film my September favorites for you today. I'm going to move this over so I cannot be looking over to my left all the time. Um, yeah, I've only got a few favorites, really not too many. Hopefully this video isn't too terribly long. Um, I'm just going to dive right in with skincare. I've only got a couple. Um, I did a post on this. It is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. Um, and, I mean, you can read all about this in my post, but it is fantastic. I would definitely recommend it. I will link my review of it down below. It was actually first impressions, which I'm not lying. I did write that as soon as I used, right after I used it the first time, but it was before I went up. So yeah, but really been liking that. Um, I would definitely recommend it. Yeah, go check out the review if you haven't. And next is what I follow up with that at night, and it is the Botanics Gentle Cleansing Cream All Bright. This is the, this you can find at Target um, with all of the boot stuff. And my skin's just been really acting up this month. I'm not sure what's up with that, but it has been. So um, I'm using this and I really like it. It definitely brightens my skin. And yeah, it does its job. So I would recommend that as well. Makeup favorites. I'm actually wearing all of this right now. Um, first up is this combination right here. This is the Physicians Formula 100% Natural Origin Loose Powder Translucent Light Organics. And I rediscovered this. This is really old packaging. I don't even know if you can find this anymore. Um, I would assume they, they still make it, but it's just this loose powder, like mineral powder. It's kind of like a knockoff of Bare Minerals. Um, I rediscovered this. I've had this since I was probably like 13 or 14 when I first started wearing makeup. And since my skin's been acting up, I've been really liking this um, on lighter makeup days. So that way I'm not piling on a whole face of makeup. I can just use this. And it does its job and I've been using that with the Real Techniques Buffing Brush, which is this one here. It comes in the Core Collection. This brush is actually the whole reason I bought that collection, but yeah. Um, it just applies it really nicely and I also have used it with other foundations and it works just as well but I particularly like it with this one so this has been like a holy grail this month for me that's how I'm wearing my foundation right now actually I don't know if you can tell in this light but it does pretty well um, moving on to eyes um, first we'll talk about the NYX jumbo eye pencil in milk um, you've probably heard a lot about this. You've probably heard everyone and my brother talk about it, but it really is a great product. I use this as an eyeshadow for my, it's an eyeshadow? No. I use this as a base for all of my eyeshadows. I'm wearing it today under my eyeshadow, and I've noticed that my shadows have lasted a lot longer than this. I even prefer this over my Maybelline color tattoos, and I think that's because this, um, not only helps them stay longer, but it helps the colors to apply more true to what they are in the pan because you're not applying it on your skin tone, which can affect how the color looks on you. So definitely recommend that. It's like $4, I think, at Ulta. But yeah, 10 out of 10 would recommend. This is a product I thought I would never mention in a favorites video. And it is Benefits their real mascara. You've probably heard a lot of people talk about this as well, but honestly, I didn't think I would like it because of the brush. It's a synthetic plastic bristle brush, and I usually hate these, but I have been loving this mascara. This is just the mini size. I got this in my um, gift for my birthday from Sephora. Yeah, that's where I got this. Um, yeah, so really been enjoying that. I'm wearing it today, and I just really like that it's a good separating mascara. Um, I like this on like my lazy days when I'm like just throwing on eyeliner and mascara and wearing my glasses and going to class or something, just because it doesn't make my lashes like as voluminous or as long 
as my falsies does which is my all-time favorite I also like the falsies big eyes um, but yeah just really been enjoying this because I've had a lot of like no makeup makeup days this month and so this has been getting a lot of love next we will talk about brows um, this is the brow designer from Essence in the shade 04 blonde if you can see that it mine's really gross I apologize um, yeah but I never thought I would be going to film in my eyebrows mostly because my eyebrows are pretty strong naturally and I never really needed to fill them in but I noticed like up towards the front they were getting a little more sparse so I picked this up at Ulta they're like a dollar or something like that really want to try more from this brand speaking of just because they are so cheap but yeah um really been liking that I just kind of brush it through the front of my brows and then comb through with this little brush that's on the end of the cap and yeah I've really been liking that I'd recommend it if you're looking for a cheap eyebrow pencil I think this is the cheapest one I've ever found um so yeah check that out and the last is another thing I am wearing and it is this lip color from Wet n Wild and it is the color 508A Black Orchid it is this gorgeous red maroon color I'll swatch it for you so you can see it off the lips but it is so gorgeous I wore this when I went out with my mom the other day and got so many compliments on it and the best part is is this only costs 94 cents so if you're looking for a good fall lipstick I would definitely recommend this um I don't know what exactly it could be a dupe for but I'm sure it's a dupe for something just because I mean look at it it's gorgeous so yeah wet and wild a plus I would recommend however wearing a lip balm under it just because they can be a bit drying and you definitely do have to reapply this quite often because it doesn't last as long as like say a MAC lipstick or a Rimmel lipstick so yeah keep an eye out for that and next after I wash my hand off of that lipstick because I will get it everywhere if I don't um next let's talk about some fashion favorites so first up are these shoes and these are Sperry's they are the AO Ivory Ice I believe is what they're called they're just this nice like well as you can guess ivory suede and they've got this nice like gel like orange sole mine are really dirty sorry but um really like these been wearing them with everything um yeah, I don't know. They're just really comfortable. They're a good shoe. They're really neutral too. And I just treated mine with like a rain and stain protector like you would any suede shoes. And they've been just fine. I mean, anything I get on them rubs right off. So I recommend those. I'll link them down below. I think they're like 85 or 90 maybe. The next pair of shoes I'm going to talk about. This is kind of cheating because I just got these in the mail on... Thursday night but I'm I've been too excited about them and I knew they were going to be a favorite when I ordered them and it is these beauties if you don't know what these are these are the cats boots from Topshop and they've got these little cutouts on the side and this cute little ankle strap and oh my god I have been lusting over these for months and I finally ordered them online and so I was so excited when they came I came home on Thursday night and my mom had them sitting in our loft and I like started jumping up and down and squealing that's how excited I was about these so yeah um I haven't gotten the chance to style them much just because it has been still hot here in Kansas unfortunately but um really looking forward to be able to being able to and I was wearing them earlier actually because I had my internship so yeah, I mean, they're just they're beautiful, I don't know. And I would recommend because since Topshop only does half sizes in the US sizes, I wear a size 7 and I got a 7.5 in those. Um, and they fit perfectly fine with or without a sock. So if you don't know which way to go up or down, I would definitely go up half a size if you were debating on ordering those. Oh, and back to the fairies, go half a size down. 
because <laughs> I wear a seven and I have a six and a half in this. All right, last two fashion favorites, and then we will move on to kind of miscellaneous favorites. First, I have to get this summer for minimal. First up, it's this wonderful shirt, and no one's going to appreciate this unless you're from Kansas City. It's a Kansas City Chief shirt because they are 4-0, and I am really excited because I think this is the first time in my life I can wear Chiefs gear and not be ridiculed for it because they aren't terrible. So yeah, really been liking this. I got it at Target, but I also saw them at Walmart the other night. So yeah, you can pick it up from either of those places. It's just a nice long sleeve t-shirt. Um, looks really cute with leggings and my scaries that I've been wearing all the time. And I, I've literally worn this since I got it, like, almost every day. <laughs> Which is probably really gross, but I have. Um, I actually, like, went out one night with Rachel and we went to Target and I was like, you know what, the Chiefs won their game, so that's an excuse to buy a Chiefs shirt. So that's what I did. <laughs> um, and the last four fashion favorites, but definitely not the least... If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen this quite a few times. It is this um, plaid shirt from American Eagle, and I featured this in my fall edit video, and um, I haven't been really wearing it much as, like, an actual shirt. I've been wearing it more kind of, like, folded over like this and then tied around my waist just to add a little something to an outfit, a little bit of the grunge trend going, and... I don't know. I just really enjoy it. I really like the colors. I wear it with like leggings and some boots and just like a plain t-shirt and it works wonderfully and it's really soft. And I'm pretty sure these are still at American Eagle. They might even be on sale now. So yeah, definitely check those out. I'll link them down below. And now moving on honestly to just random favorites. Um, I guess we'll start off with this. This is my trusty Red Bull. I cannot live without these because I do 12 hour days most days. So those are like my BFF along with pumpkin spice chai tea lattes. Now, I only know of them being sold at Target in like the Tazo little box sizes. So if you have a Target, check those out. I haven't seen them anywhere else. They might even be exclusive to Target. I'm not sure. But if you go to Starbucks, order a pumpkin spice chai tea latte. If you go to Venti, do like four pumps of pumpkin spice. A grande, probably like mm, two or three, depending on how much pumpkin you like. But it will change your life, I promise. It is, oh, it's just so good, and now I really, really want one. Might have to get one later. <laughs> um, lastly, well, no, not lastly, but um, another life kind of lifestyle favorite it's of course ios 7 um i just i love it it's like a designer's dream if you follow me on twitter you know i wasn't shutting up about it the day that it came out but it's just fantastic i think apple definitely needed the update and i've been loving it and a few music favorites for this month um i've been really liking nina nesbitt who i mentioned in an on repeat post um Dion Bromfield. I haven't mentioned her. I've been meaning to, but too many other songs keep cropping up. So check her out. She is Amy Winehouse's goddaughter. So if you loved Amy Winehouse, you will love her. Her album's on Spotify. It's A plus, 10 out of 10. Like, she sounds almost exactly like Amy Winehouse. The first time I heard it, I was like, oh my god, this is Amy Winehouse reincarnated. It was great. <laughs> um, so yeah, definitely check that out. And I rediscovered Yeezus this month. Um, I started, well, kind of started running again. I did like two days in a row and then stopped. I really need to be better about that. Um, but yeah, re definitely rediscovered that. Um, who else have I been listening a lot to? Uh, Drake's new album. That was going to be my on-repeat pick last week when I mentioned um, Haim but I changed it to Haim because I fell in love with them. Also in love with their new album, which just came out yesterday, and obviously Lord's album. So yeah, um, that is all I have for you for my September favorites, and I will see you guys next week. I've got something really great planned, and I think you're going to like it. So yeah, see you guys next week. Bye!